Hello everyone. Welcome to Kriti Tutorials. Today we are back again with the perpetuity and we are going to do the remaining solutions for the Adi Shama exercise. Right. So we are going to complete in today. So in part one, we have seen that we have solved few questions. That is about seven questions from the exercise. Today we will be moving on with the remaining questions. Right. I hope you all have seen that video and understood the solutions. Please post your comments. Right. Now let's move on to the next question. That is find the present value of perpetuity of rupees 7800 payable at the beginning of each year if money is worth six percent effective so the point here is that we have the important term that we have to look for beginning so this is the question which is based on the beginning right correct so now we are going to find the present value of the perpetuity and of rupees 7800 so what is your r here your r will be 7,800 rupees and your I will be what? 6 upon 100. And again, it is payable at the beginning of each year. So it is R by 100 only because it's annually. Now, what is the formula for the beginning? For the beginning, the formula is P is equal to R plus R upon I. Right? Because you are paying the installment in the beginning. So now we have to just simply solve it. Put the values 6 by 100 i will take it up now let me divide it directly by 6 so we get 1300 so 7800 plus 130000 right so i have to add now both the things so on adding what will i get 130000 correct and 7800 just check 13, 7,800. So, 1,37,800 rupees. So, that is the present value of your perpetuity. Right? So, this much money is equivalent to the today's. Correct? So, 1,37,800. So, remember for the beginning, the formula, a small change. That is P is equal to R plus R upon I. Correct? So, just remember, we told you in the last video also that i has to be taken according to the tenure according to the time whether it's semi-annual quarterly or yearly now let's move to the next now if the cash equivalent to a perpetuity of rupees 300 payable at the end of each quarter is rupees 24,000, find the interest rate convertible quarterly so we have to find what r here so now it is again at the end of each quarter so this is very important that is end of each quarter and now here present value is given how much 24,000 here r is how much 300 so what we have to find we have to find rate of interest right so now what will be i i will be r upon 400 why will it be 400 because it's quarterly remember so now it is going to be quarterly so we have to put i as r upon 400 so we have to find this rate of interest small r so what is the value again the formula is r upon i so now pv is given 24,000. we have 300 rupees and this is r upon 400 so we have to calculate r correct so now if you have to calculate you can simply calculate r as 24,000 r is equal to 1 2 0 0 0 0 so r will be how much 1 2 0 0 0 and 24,000 so three zeros cut and with 24 if we cut 120 that's five so, so interest will be five percent quarterly right this is for quarterly right so if they ask you to find it for the yearly it will come out to be what 20 percent right so this is quarterly interest that you are going to answer right clear to all so that's five percent this question as i told you if they ask for yearly if they ask you for semi-annually then it will be 10%, 20%. Okay, no need to calculate again and again. So you can simply calculate it. Now let's move to the next. The present value of a perpetual income of rupees R at the end of each six months is rupees 36,000. Find the present value of R if money is worth 6% compounded semi-annually. So what are we going to find? We are going to what we have to find. We are given six months semi-annually rate of interest, right? So in this question, what are we supposed to find? We are supposed to find the value of R, correct? So we have to find the value of R, remember? So we have to find the present, the value of R. 
correct so here what we have the present value is given as p is given as 36000 r we have to find correct and what is the i 6 upon 200 now i think everyone should be clear why 6 upon 200 because it is semi annually correct because being semi annually this has to be taken by 200 so now what will be the formula it is at the end correct what is given here it is at the end just note it down it is at the end correct so now what do you have r upon i so what is r that we have to find what is the present value 36000 what is i 6 upon 200 just keep the digits intact. No need of any unnecessary multiplication. Okay. Just do the minimal divisions that is required. Okay. So now what will be R36,000 into 6 upon 200. So we will simply cut. And if we multiply by 3, we should get our answer. 3 zeros are 3, 3 six are 8 and 1 here. So 1080 0, rupees. So that is your R value. Correct. So that is your R that is. If you want a present value of rupees 36,000 and the money is going to be compounded 6% semi-annually, then you should deposit how much it's like that. So that will be 1,080 rupees. Correct. So you have to find the money worth accordingly. Correct. Now let's move on to the next question. Now at what rate converted semi-annually will present value of perpetuity of rupees 450 pay bill at the end of 6 months b rupees 20,000. So now what are the points given to you here? At what rate converted semi-annually? So again the point is semi-annually. It is half yearly. Will present value of perpetuity of rupees 450. So that is your R given to you. 450 is what? R. Now what is the present value given to you? 20,000 rupees. And we have to find what? At what rate? At what rate means that is we have to find the value of small r. So, if I just sum up everything, so R is 450 rupees, present value is 20,000 rupees and being semi-annually, it will be taken as R by 200 and it is at the end. Just note here, it is at the end. So, end ke liye kya formula hum use karte hai? Simply P is equal to R upon I. So, what do you have here? 450 rupees. Wait, let me make it. Yes. And here we have R by 200. So, 200 will go up. And here we have 20,000. Correct. Now let's calculate the value of R. So 450 into 200 upon 20,000. Correct. Let's cut out one more. Let's cut out this. So what's your R coming? 4.5%. This is semi-annually. And if they ask you same thing for the annually, it will come out to be 9%. We have to just double it. We have to just half it depending on what are we calculating. Right. So this is 4.5%. Clear to all? Now let's move on to the next. Vinod wants to retire from his job and get hold of rupees 30,000 per month. And he wants the money to go to future generations after death. He will earn interest rate at 8% compounded annually. What is the total amount he will need to achieve the perpetuity goal? So now here he is going to earn interest of rupees 800 compounded annually. So 8% compounded annually. This is what is for the rate of interest. And this is 30,000 per month. Per month. So he wants rupees 30,000 per month. Per month is very, very important here because that will help you to put the value of I. Correct. So now we have to find the total amount he will need to achieve the perpetuity goal. So that is we want the present value. So present value is now it is going to be get hold of this and it is, will be simply what uh, r upon i now what will be i here i will be 8 upon 1200 because he wants it every month right so it will be taken as r upon 1200 so r is given 8 percent so now here it will be what 30000 upon 8 into 1200 correct so that will be your present value Clear? Now, here we have to calculate simply. Let's calculate um, by 4 first. Okay. So, 300. We get 2. So, this becomes 150. Now, what will it be? 445. 15 threes are 45. And then we put the 5 zeros. 
So we get here plus here. 45 lakh rupees right just check everyone so that is 45 lakh so that is the amount that he needs right so he's going to pay if, at the end or agar usko starting mein karna hoga, then what will it be then if we have to add 30,000 more to it so that will come out to be 4 lakh rupees 3,000 so this is what we have so this is uh, there is a minute uh, error in the answer key students don't go with the answer the correct answer is 4 lakh 50 thousand uh, 45 lakh and here it is given 44 lakh 97 thousand 750 so don't get confused with it it has a direct calculation you can do it on your own so there is nothing to think about there it's all manual errors it's okay okay so now let's move on to the next now an investor plans an investment where the cash flow payments are rupees 50 thousand per year the required rate of interest is eight percent and the cash flow payments grow by three percent every year and paid indefinitely find the present value of the investment now here the present value we have to find and here it's a case of growth right it is growing at the rate of three percent so if it is at the rate of growth then what is the formula that we use we use p r i minus g now here i minus g that's important so i minus g i will be what eight percent g will be what three percent right so and capital r will be what thirty thousand so we have to simply calculate present value okay let me make it pb clear to all so if we have to calculate present value we can simply use the formula so we get thirty thousand upon eight upon 100 minus three upon 100 right so what will you get now thirty thousand in 200 upon 5 right so we have to simply use the formula of growth that r is equal to i minus g so 30,000 into 200 upon 5 we have to use okay so it's given 50 let's make it 50 fine no other change okay so i just wrote it okay fine so the point is now 50,000 into 100 upon 5 now what we have to do is we have to simply cancel it out and do minimal calculations so we get how many rupees now 10 lakh rupees so that will be your present value of the investment so an investor plans an investment where the cash flow payments are rupees 50,000 per year that's important so 50,000 starting here every year and the cash flow required rate of return is 8 percent or growth is by 3 percent so what will be the present value of the investment so that will be 10 lakh rupees just check everyone is it clear to all okay so i'll be moved to the next sure now find the amount to be deposited into an endowment fund that is to be compounded annually at the rate of 12 percent per annum to provide for an annual scholarship of rupees 36 thousand for an indefinite period of time so now here what we have to find ki how much amount to be deposited into an endowment fund so that you are going to receive. So, abhi hum kitne paise deposit kar so again, we have to find the present value. So how much should I deposit now so that I receive a scholarship of rupees 36,000 for indefinite period of time and the growth rate is uh, the rate of interest is given as 12% on my amount. So what we have to calculate, we have to calculate present value. Correct? Because I have to deposit it today right that is at the present so accordingly we are going to calculate so now we are going to receive rupees 36,000 correct now r upon i so what is r 36,000 and what is i 12 upon 100 let's do the calculations so it will be 36,000 upon 12 into 100 okay now let's move it so what we will get just do minimal multiplication. No need to do unnecessary multiplications. Right? So we get five zeros here. Let's put it in this way. So what is it? That is 3 lakh rupees. Correct? So we can just give our answer that it is 3 lakh rupees. Now let's move on to the next question. 
Now the next question is how much money is needed to ensure a series of lectures costing rupees 4500 at the beginning of each year indefinitely if the money is worth rupees 6% compounded annually. So here the important point to notice is beginning, right? And what we have to find, we have to find that how much money is needed today, right? If we ensure that each lecture is, lecture is going to cost rupees 4,500 rupees. So what we have to find, we have to find that today's value, that is present value, R is given to you 4,500 and I. So what is I here? Now it is at the beginning of each year, correct? So beginning here, so we will have to add R also to it. Correct? So, R plus R upon I will be the formula. Now, what is R? R is 4,500 rupees and your I is what? 6 upon 100 rupees. So, now what you have? 4,500 upon 6 and this 100 will go up plus 4,500. Right? Now, let's make the calculation here. So, if we divide it by... 3, we get 1500 here and we get 2 here and here we get 50. So what will you get? 3 zeros and 75. 75,000 plus 4500. So what will you get here? 79500 rupees. So that is what you have. Correct? So the answer is 79500 rupees you need to invest as for 6% compounded annually so that you can go with the series of lectures of rupees 4500 and it is in the beginning so we have to use r plus r upon i okay clear to all so let's move on to the next now how much money is needed to ensure a monthly pension of rupees 80000 at the beginning of each month forever if the money is worth 10.5 percent per annum compounded monthly so now let's move on with this so it is important point is beginning of each month forever month and beginning these two words are important here so now here it is given as you are going to receive a pension of rupees 80000 now what will be i taken as 10.5 upon 1200 why am i taking 1200 because it's monthly correct because it's for monthly and what formula shall i apply here P V is equal to R plus R upon I. Why this formula? Because it is beginning. Okay, now let's move on. 80,000 plus 80,000 upon 10.5 into 1200. Correct? Now let's do the calculation. Here it will come a little bit in decimals and all. Let's do it carefully. So 2400 on 21 okay now here i will have to do the calculations using the calculator as well so 80000 plus if i divide it further i get this and here i get this so what will i get 6 4 0 0 0 0 0 0 upon 7 correct now if i divide it again let's see so what will i get let's do the 9 64 1 4 so 1 right so here i get 9 1 4 2 8 5 right and then i get 7.1 and so on now if i add it what will i get so i have to simply add it now so 9142857 i have to add 80000 so now i am adding it what will i get i will get simply 9 Let's make it here 9142857. Okay. Point one. So this becomes 80,000. Okay. Now let's write it. So we get here 7582229.1. So 9222857.1 rupees. 
so that will be your final answer right so this was the question which has a little bit of calculation otherwise it can be done easily right so this is how do not take the lcm and all it will unnecessarily make your calculations bigger just do it individually okay right now let's move on to the next the principal amount demanded by a bank to guarantee a perpetual annuity is reduced by 25 percent after rate of interest compounded annually is increased by 3 percent find out the rate of interest allowed by the bank after reduction in principal amount so what are we supposed to find here it's a uh, see it's a question which is totally based on the application here we can use ratio and all concept in a very simple way it will be a simply one mark question now suppose your principal amount demanded by bank to guarantee a perpetual annuity is reduced by 25 percent so let us take that amount as 100 to make the calculations easier now if it is reduced by 25 percent so how much will it be now so it will be 75 rupees okay so now that is about the principle that they are talking about now the what is about rate of interest rate of interest is now increased by three percent okay so when your amount was 100 suppose your rate of interest was x so that is your present value now this is equivalent to what when your amount is reduced by 25 percent that is your amount is 75 percent now your rate of interest has been increased by three percent no need of 100 x by 100 because if you do x by 100 here okay this 100 will get cancelled so it's a simple one mark question then you can simply write it like this also so now let's do the simple calculation by cross multiplication Now, 25x will be equal to 300. So, x will be equal to this. So, what will be your answer? 12%. Just check. Right? So, it's a very simple but very important question for the exams because this is based on the application and understanding of the concept. Right? So, now let's move to the next one. How much money is needed to ensure a pension of rupees 42,000 at the end of each year forever that grows at the rate of 3% per annum if the money is worth 10% per annum compounded yearly. So, at the end of each year, hai, forever, hai, and it is growth question, right? So, now what we have, we are to ensure a pension of rupees 42,000. Correct? So, rupees 42,000, that's your pension. Now, what is your I? I is 10%. Now, what is your G? G is 3%. Right? So, that is what we have here. So, now what is the question? How much money is needed? So, R upon I minus G. So, what do you have now? 42,000. 10 minus 3 upon 100. So, 42,000 upon 7 and this 100 will go up. So, if you divide it, so it's 6 lakh rupees, right? So, this was based on perpetuity again, the present value. So, this was all about the exercise that we had. So, we have done all the questions. So, I hope you all have understood it. Okay. Thank you, everyone.